This is the story of how my failure has led me to help athletes succeed. What separates us from the pack is what we do with that failure. How to use your failures to positively impact your future is what I teach in my program. I'm Aaron Robinette, head coach of Athletic Power and Performance. I help inspire athletes to find their passion, drive, and joy for their sport. Athletic Power and Performance. Don't be a piece. Train holistically. In this video, I'll discuss a little bit about my story. I'll share with you how this led me to develop the tools I teach athletes so they can overcome their challenges. And I will uncover one of the biggest areas most athletes need to address, which will increase their enjoyment for their sport. A little bit about my background. I was a high school baseball pitcher. I had passion and thoroughly enjoyed my time playing baseball. I even had the dream of one day playing for the New York Yankees. My one big moment that changed everything was playing for my summer league championship game where I gave up the winning home run. This was the summer prior to my senior season in high school. I had several months after that game prior to the start of my senior season in baseball. I didn't realize it at the time, but that loss led me to having control problems on the mound during that entire season in my last year of baseball. These control problems were both with my pitches and with my emotions. I was feeling at the time I should be playing better, yet my results on the field were getting worse. With these challenges, I couldn't figure out any solutions. As a result, I ultimately quit baseball and because of that, I felt discouraged and empty. For many years, I had reflected back on my experience in baseball, many times without a clear understanding of what really happened. Since that time, I've been in the fitness industry for many years. A couple of years ago, I decided to write a book about fitness and lifestyle. As I wrote this book, I was led more towards athletics, training, and coaching principles for the aspiring athlete. Through this writing, I was able to get more answers out of my own story and why I became burned out. Through writing my book, I realized that there were many areas that often are not addressed when it comes to the athlete. Most people focus on training, nutrition, and practices, all of which are important. However, I was realizing the biggest missing piece to this puzzle was the mental and emotional coaching. As I wrote my book, I focused on what steps I personally would have needed to help me and from there I expanded on these areas to help other athletes with their challenges as well. I came up with six main steps that address the physical areas as well as the mental and emotional areas that when you strengthen these help the athlete not only succeed but get the most enjoyment and passion from this experience. For current athletes the biggest area athletes seem to have no answer for is burnout. There are many reasons that lead an athlete to burnout from athletics. These include lack of results on the field, injury, exhaustion, or fear, just to name a few. The main issue is the enjoyment and passion are lost, and these emotions are replaced by many negative emotions such as fear, anxiety, frustration, and despair. There are three main steps in order to address and overcome burnout. First, the athlete needs to know what they really want from the athletic experience and why this is important. This gives the athlete the focus on what's important to them and not what should be important to them or what's important to somebody else. Second, there should be a main goal that when accomplished, it's clear that this goal has been accomplished. The goal needs to be clear and definable. There should also be milestones or mini goals to set the path for the athlete to accomplish along the way so that the athlete knows that they are on track to accomplish this main goal. Third, address the biggest controllable obstacle in the way between the athlete and the main goal. This needs to be revisited often as this obstacle will change as the athlete progresses through the athletic journey, as the athlete becomes better, and when new challenges arise. In this video, I'm just scratching the surface of how to overcome roadblocks in the athlete's way. 
For a deeper dive to Unleash the Athlete Within, get a copy of my book, Athlete Unleashed. Also check out my individual coaching options at athleticpowerandperformance.com. That link is in the description below.